Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a racing request. Now, in short, what a requ racing request is, is essentially sending requests um, via HTTP really quickly, like in sequence, really quickly. And that's the whole point. So for instance, suppose that you have a coupon code and you want to apply that coupon code multiple times. But the problem is the server deletes that coupon code. So essentially, you want to send it like multiple times and then hit send, apply right away and you want to do that in, in, in a fraction of a second before the server is able to delete those extra coupon codes now in this lab we're not exactly doing that in this lab essentially we're sending um, a php file that essentially grabs the flag from this uh, um, location in the server di directory and what we want to do is we're going to post it up first and then try to grab this try to open this file uh like multiple times before the PHP file deletes. Now let me show you the PHP file. Let me just close this, close this. Here we go. So this is the PHP file here. And this is what I'm trying to upload. And I'm gonna to try to grab this information. I'm gonna show you what's inside here. There's nothing really fancy. This here, this code here, you don't need. I just put that there as extra. You don't need that code. Essentially, this echo, basically echo is um, is basically displaying it on the screen. File get contents, and this is that directory. The directory is right here. And here is the, um, the file that we want to get the flag from. So this, this file here has that flag in it. And you want to get the, the contents of that. When I say flag, I mean just a sequence of numbers, just a code. That's basically, it has, it's housing a code. We often call it flag for some reason. Okay, so that's what this PHP file contains here. Now I'm going to open the lab. Just so you know that the, this, this, is, this username, these credentials are supplied to us. I'm just going to open this up in a new tab here. Okay, so this is open and over here, my account. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, okay, I already have a picture here, but essentially you want to upload a picture. Uh, doesn't matter what picture, any picture. You can upload this, but actually, before you do that, sorry, uh, before you do that, you want to open up your burp suite and let's go to proxy and let's, let's go to history here and let's clear the history so everything is nice and clean. So let's clear this history, clear history. Everything is starting from scratch. So basically, history essentially is basically going to record everything we do, in short. So let's say I want to, let's say, reload this file or reload this page. And the history is going to record that right here. My account cleaner. Um, so uh, we want to record where that picture goes. So let's go over here. We're going to upload this picture. And it's going to go through. There you go. So it has been uploaded. Let's go back to our account. And let's dig go here. And when we, let's just, we want to know where this file went. So we see it right here uh, on the screen. And this is our file. And we're just going to go open this, open this up in a new tab. And you want to make note of this location. Because basically, when we upload our PHP file, this is where it's going to be located. And you're gonna have to change this according to the PHP file. So the whole point of uploading this picture is to know exactly where in the server that your PHP file is gonna be uploaded. Okay. So we have that. So we we know where it's located. So now, and let's take a look at our history, uh, our burp history. So we we know exactly what's going on. I'm just gonna make this down here. So over here, this is where we posted our picture. Here. And uh, this, you just, this is when we go back to our account because we had to go back. We hit the hit back button to go back to the account. And these just headers are just, they're not nothing really. They're just in between stuff. Okay, so we now know that. So essentially now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our actual file. So, because we want the request, we wanna keep those requests. So here is test PHP. And just so you know, uh, it's going to fail, but that's not the point. The whole point is I want, we want that request. So here we go. We're going to upload this and let's watch it fail. Sorry, uh, it doesn't allow you. These, these files are not allowed. Let's go back to our account. And that's fine. It failed, but the whole point is to get that request. So let's go back into Burp Intruder and let's take a look at, here it is. This is the... Let's take a look here. Let me just see, take a look at this request, seeing if it's the right one. 
test tests. Okay, yeah, this is the right one. So I'm just gonna send this to repeater because repeater, you can actually see it better in repeater. There we go. Oh, this is too big. Let's make that small. Okay, here's a request in repeater. So essentially, we uh, we want to copy and paste this request in, in into um, into Turbo Intruder. So let's talk about Turbo Intruder. So Turbo Intruder, it's a free program that you can get on Burp uh, Burp Suite Community Edition. It's free. Uh, this video is not going to show you how to install it. Like there's tons of videos on online that shows you how to install this uh, Turbo Intruder. But for a moment, here I'm going to assume that you can have it, and then we're just going to move on. So. I'm gonna send this to Turbo Intruder because we want to open the window, Turbo Intruder window. So I'm just gonna send this to Turbo Intruder here. And that's all it's sent to Turbo Intruder. But bear in mind that uh, you don't need any of this. All this stuff here you don't need. So you can either delete it or just move it up. It has it has no impact on your program. And over here in the body of the code, let's delete all this for a moment. And essentially, we want to copy uh, code. So if you go down here, solutions, this, this is basically the code that we want to put into Turbo, uh, Turbo, sorry, it's Turbo Intruder. Copy. There you go. So this is, oh, this is a different one. Sorry. All right, that has been open from a previous file. Okay, so this is the one we were working with. So. Here we go, we copied that code, it's in here. So our requests go in here. So our first request was a post request that we were uploading that PHP file. So let's get that, uh, let's get the, let's go back, sorry, go back into Burp Suite. In Repeater, we saved it, as you may recall. Here we go, this is the post request. Let's copy all this everything here copy and let's paste it into turbo intruder there we go uh one thing that they didn't tell you um well you had to sort of figure this one out is that you're gonna have to put this uh the sequence here Backslash R, backslash M, backslash R, back essentially is return carriage, new line, return carriage, new line. Uh, new line and return carriage is almost the same thing. Um, it's, it's it's hard to describe what the difference is between the two, but that's what you have to do. It's sort of it's an insurance policy that this request goes through. So I'm just going to paste it on the bottom of this request here, and I'm going to do same thing. Uh, the same thing over here. I'm going to paste it on the bottom of this request here. So this one here, the first one is a post request. So you're going to post the you're going to post the the PHP file, and then now we're we're going to try to open it. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to let's go to Burp Suite, and let's just go to our proxy. Let's go to H, uh, the history here. So let's just you use any GET request. I'm going to use this GET request. I'm going to send this. Let's send this to Repeater. So I sent it to Repeater. Essentially, we're going to copy all this code. You don't have to send it. You you could have copied it from there, but. Um, I want you to see, like, I want you to have a good, like, see the whole thing. So I'm going to copy this entire code. Let's copy that. Let's go back into Turbo Intruder. And let's just uh, paste it in for our second request. There we go. And this is our turn carriage. And let's just clean this up a bit so it looks nice. Okay, that looks good. Over here, let's put this over here. That looks good. So, first request and second request. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the code here in Turbo Intruder. This concurrent connection, basically, how many how many connections are occurring at a time? So it's doing ten connections at a time. You can change that to one if you want one connection at a time. That's up to you. Um, the more connections, the faster it goes. But sometimes it screws up. So, like right now, I'm leaving it as ten. So it's, that should be fine. So essentially, this is our, uh, basically, the, the gate argument basically blocks the request. So it's basically is holding, it's blocking it. And it gets released over here, open gate, right? That's where it gets released. Like, uh, everything gets released. So essentially, this first uh, this first line of code is basically, uh, our, or basically our post request. That's posting 
our p our, our test php onto this onto the server this is your post request and over here for x is basically a loop so you're trying it's being looped it's looping over this one this is our second request this is the the get request you're trying to open that up that php file and you're trying it five times and over here you open gates and this this um timeout is i'm not quite sure what this timeout does um I think it just uh, is the time it takes to shut down. I'm not quite sure. Don't take don't take my word for it. Anyways, that's 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 the, the code. You can adjust this code according to your needs. Uh, maybe there's more requests, or maybe it's less requests, or you can maybe increase the range if you want. And that's it. That's the code explained. Let's get this attack started. And as you can see here, it uh, so it, it posted. First one was posted, and let's see if it. Uh, Let's take a look here. So this is basically the the response. Oh, that's pretty. Need to go through. I am not sure how this go render. Oh yes, we made a mistake. Okay, mistake we made. So let's go back into this. Let's, let's, let's halt this configure. Our mistake was here. Remember avatar? This is our second one. We're trying to retrieve. We're trying to retrieve. Um, let's go back. to We're trying to retrieve that um, from this location here. Polygot. So we need this address here. This is the. So this is the. This is where the file is located, and we're using a, a get request for that. So let's. Copy this. Let's go back here, and let's go back to Burp Suite. Let's go to Turbo Intruder. Sorry, I put the wrong window. Turbo Intruder, and so this is our first request, and then our second request is we're trying to retrieve it. So where's my second? This is this is the second request. So get, and we're gonna get rid of this address. We're gonna paste new location, and remember our our files. It's not Polygon. Our, our files. It's a PHP file. It's, a, it's called test. The PHP and we're trying to open it. That's the whole point. So okay, now this is now this should be the correct code. Let's hit the attack and not found, not found. There you go. Yep, there we go. So it looks like over here it failed. It failed again. It failed again. And over here it actually went through. You can see the code on the bottom here. Hit render. It should show on the on the screen. And this is our code. Can we copy it? No, we can't copy it. Well, we can copy it from the from here, I think. Yeah, we can. Let's copy this, and then you submit it in. Let's go back over here, submit solution, and it should go through. Congratulations, you solved the lab. Okay, that's it.